What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alpixi and welcome back today to Slime Rancher. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, once again, it is time for slime. And today we are continuing on, of course, with the Moki's Megabucks update. So uh, yeah, I think we're going to do these back to back episodes. So yesterday uh, we jumped in for the very first time and we kind of learned a little bit about what is going on with this really, really crazy update. Oh yeah, my googly eyes. <laughs> I forgot about you dudes. Should we put some googly eyes on things? Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> They're like my thumbnails, aren't they? Oh, what an amazing game. Um, so yeah, hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What else can we googlify? Oh my goodness me, look at the plots in here. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, for just the sheer fun of it, do you reckon we could make this like the entire way up with plots? So we've got like maximum 100 in there. I wonder if we could fill that up. That would be super fun to try. So we've got loads of min mangoes over here. Anyway, so whilst we uh, whilst we whilst we do this for science, um, we're gonna be jumping back, obviously, into Nimble Valley again today, because I want to see if we can unlock the first tier reward for uh, the Quicksilver plots. So uh, yeah, this one is gonna be pretty cool. I think it's a deluxe coop upgrade. Now we don't really use the coops that often. Uh, in fact, we don't use them at all. I shall show you for why. If you're someone that may have found the Slime Rancher series from yesterday's video. Hello, my name is James. Lovely to see you. Uh, yeah, we're super, super deep into a Slime Rancher series right now. Uh, I think this is episode 47 or something. You guys don't seem... <laughs> what have I done? You guys don't seem very hungry. Eat your mangoes. Okay, they are occasionally going to eat some mangoes, but... I want to see if we can fill it. That would be super funny. Um, yeah, so instead of actually using the coops, what I decided to do was basically just free ranch chickens. So uh, yeah, I just put them all down. I forgot what this place is called. Oh, it's the overgrowth. Of course it's the overgrowth, James. Come on, come on, get your game face on. Yeah, so instead of like using the actual coops, I basically just sort of free range them. You just dump a load of chickens in here and they kind of get on with things really. They sort of, they reproduce and they reproduce an awful lot. So as you can see here, we just have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of chickens, but I think it would still be cool to actually get the upgrade. So. If we go and head over back to Nimble Valley, oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Seeing as it's night time, we should probably sleep. <laughs> I'm really curious about this. I want to see if we can fill it with plorts. There must be so much money inside there. The thing is, though, we don't really need to spend any money right now. I was hoping that maybe they would do some more 7 0 rewards, but we're, uh, we're golden now, Numero 3, so not much we can do about that for now, anyway. Okay, so let's sleep until morning. Return to the ranch. Yeah. All right, let's go and head to Nimble Valley. So I think we got a few extras the last time, well, yesterday, and uh, we kind of slightly got to grips with how the Nimble Valley works. Check this out. This is something that um, I noticed when I was watching the video back. If you look at the gun, like our our cannon thingy, uh, and then if we walk through here, our, our backpack, I should say, and if we walk through, it puts the upgrade on automatically, and then it goes, and then it comes back, and then it goes. I just thought that was kind of nifty. Uh, okay, so let's go and have a little look. We have, uh, okay, so we've got 50 of 450. So, ah, we need another 400, basically. I think with the harder one, we got about 70 last time, and the smaller one, we got about 40. So if our technique improves slightly, maybe we can get over 100 each run. So technically, it would take us four runs to actually do that. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, let's just jump in. I mean, why not, right? Um, let's just do two runs here and see how we do. So, yeah, check this out. This is something that I discovered last time around. See, all of them spawn there. So if we turn around quickly, we just get, like, an instant amount of plots for, like, doing absolutely nothing. This is probably not the best way of doing it, but I was wondering, like, last night I was thinking about it. Do you think you can run in the opposite direction? I might try it out just for fun. Oh, they do do damage if they, like, run into you, so you've got to be a little bit careful. But, yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay, I've run out of stuff. Stop messing about, James. Yeah, but I was wondering, like, technically, if you gathered enough stuff and if you had enough time, do you reckon you could do it in reverse? That's something I don't actually know. Um, but yeah, we'll give it a go. We'll try a few different ways. So, I mean, today is going to be me sort of farming these Quicksilvers. Um, and yeah, I don't think we'll do every single run on camera just because once you've seen it a couple of times, I don't think you guys want to see it like 400 times. But having said that, we'll see if we can do like a plot record. So we've got 18 already and I've really not done very much. Um, if I can stock up on spark shot, if I can stock up on this, oh, what's this one? Woo! Okay, thunderclaps. Okay, the thunderclaps are actually really cool. Um, so if I can try and get a nice group of them, where should we go? Where should we go? Where should we go? Yeah, I'm kind of messing about on this one. I'm not taking this one super seriously because I want to try out something. If we can get up to these dudes, see this big group. 
Okay, this is a big group, isn't it? Oh, they've split. No, what about this? Boom. <laughs> okay, that's really good. The thunderclaps are awesome. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, let me try this again. So let me... Oh, they're really quick, aren't they? They're speedy. And... <laughs> okay, this is, the thunderclaps are actually really good. So I think those are one of the ones that we're going to have to prioritize, especially in this first area. See, I'm going to turn around now. Now that I've got 100 shots. I'm just going to get the dudes that are behind me. Maybe this is a good tactic. Maybe this isn't. I'm not too sure, but it does work. Obviously, you run out of time. That's the only thing. Like, if you follow the track, you'll get more time. So technically, you'll probably get more plots. But... I'm just kind of experimenting and seeing which way is best because already we've got our plot record for this run, uh, which I think was like 40 odd, wasn't it? Maybe 50? Look at this! So many plots! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> All right, we're doing really good here. So we've got loads of health as well, obviously, so we're not going to die or anything, but... Um... All right, one second. 92. Oh, yeah. So we just missed out on the 100, but that is so much better than our run yesterday. Well, that worked, didn't it? I've got one spark shot left. Hey! Pretty decent, if I don't say so myself. I'm quite pleased with that, actually. Okay, so let me put these bad boys in here. So, 91 is our current record. Oh, yeah! And I learned a little bit about this. Um, do you remember she said, like, the um, she had a special tier? So, I think it was the extra... Moki's Extra Mile. I think, occasionally, she'll pay more per 10 plots. Occasionally. So, this one's 150. This one's 150. This one's 150. That one's 150. Is she actually going to do it? Huh. Not too sure about that one. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to look at that one. But yeah, okay. So 91 in our first run, pretty decent. Should we go to the second one now? Let's see what we can do. Um, so I might try and use the same tactic. So we're going to start this bad boy up. I'm going to go and run around the track. This is what I'm thinking. If I run around the track, if I get lots of time and I get, like, a full inventory of things, if we spin ourselves around, then we can go ham status, as they say. And, oh, this is too good to miss, though. This is, oh, God. Spark shot! Spark shot! Oh, I missed them all. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, if we can get, like, a full inventory of uh, spark shots and maybe a couple of the, uh, the pulsy ones, then we can just, like, spin around in a big group and then just get them all. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. Ah, I should have gone up there. Okay, I'm still learning the tracks, really, but... Oh, there's one. Aha! Okay, I think you can only have, yeah, ooh, this is, oh, this is the slowing one, okay, so this one isn't so good, I don't think, unless, of course, you have, like, a big group of them, uh, we've already got 88, jeez, the problem is, this track is a bit bigger, so, you know, technically what I could do is that, couldn't I, oh, no, I'm firing the plots out, oh, look at that, so they've basically stopped, oh, I could use three of these, oh, my goodness me, look at this, look at this, look at this, <laughs> okay, that worked, didn't it? Oh, jeez, these things last for ages. So what if I just dump one in the middle there? Yeah. So what we could do is we could do three of these across each other. And then all of the Quicksilvers are just going to run into them. They last a really long time. Oh, my goodness. Sport chaos. So I'm, I'm going to run out of time here in a second. So I'm going to go and... Um, I'm going to go and get some more time in just a sec. But I can't miss out on this opportunity. This is too good. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. So what? 69, 70 plots? Not bad. Not bad. We need to break 100, though. I mean, we've got to try and break 100. So let's see if we can get some time boosters. I think the green ones are the time boosters. Um, so, oh, jeez. Okay, we might actually... Maybe this tactic hasn't actually worked. We're going to go down here. Um, because how long have we got? 17 seconds. Come on, go, 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 go. Get the green, get the green, get the green. So how long does it add? Boom. Okay, it adds like 30 seconds. Nice. Uh, let's go and get another one. Over here. I'm just going to stock up. Okay, here we go. Okay, a minute. Nice. I want to get that purple slowy time one again. So I think that's the best way of doing it. That seems to be a really good way of doing it. Huh. Did we discover something good? Maybe we did. Is this the slowy time one? Oh, I've just missed it. Okay, I can't fly up that high. I think it was down on the left-hand side. So I've got 45 seconds only, but I can go and get the time booster. We've got 90 of the shot. Yeah, it was down here, wasn't it? Oh, it's gone now. No way. So once I've got it, can I not get it again? Okay, well, I'm just kind of experimenting with this run, so do not fear. We haven't got much time left. We might as well... Ooh, hang on, what's this? I don't know. I think that's just more... More shot. Oh, man, that time... I really wanted another one of those slowy down time ones. So what if we just spin around now? We haven't got very long, so let's just, let's just do this. I mean, technically, the slowing one is amazing because they all group together, but... 
not much we can do. So we've only got like five seconds. So I don't think we're going to do as well on this run as we did on the other one. Bizarrely. Well, there we go. 96. Okay, so not quite as good as I was expecting. I think what I'll do... Hmm. I don't know. This one's a little bit trickier to get a lot of them. With the way that we were doing it anyway. So there must be like a golden technique. But having said that though, I thought that I was going to take us like six runs. However... Wait, is she going to pay us more? I'm just keeping an eye on that 150. Maybe I don't know how it works. I might not know how it works. <laughs> so I thought like every now and again she would pay us way more, but... Unless that price doesn't actually ever change. Hmm. Well, there we go. Look at that. So we've got 240 out of 450. So what I have to do now, basically, is I just kind of have to wait. So it's not too bad. It's like seven minutes for this one. And because we just finished this one, this one is 11 minutes. So, yeah, I'm just going to plop about, I guess. Um, I'm just going to stand here and wait. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, come on, 3, come on, 2, come on, 1. And yes! <laughs> Alright, okay, you know what? Let's do let's do let's do the first one again on camera. I'm gonna try this tactic again. Just see what we can do. So I'm gonna try and get loads and loads of time here. That's kind of like the main thing. Um so I'm trying to work out like I can't go up there. See the thing about Slime Rancher, which um obviously is something that happens in, in any slime rancher, is that like once you're flying, you can only go up to like a certain amount with your jetpack, even if you've got like the power in order to get up there. It kind of like caps out at a certain height. So it's a case of um, trying to get as many power-ups as possible, but at the same time, also being able to uh, like get the get the speed thingies um, to actually increase your time. So like, as you can see, I've not done a single thing right now, but I can't get up to that one from the ground floor. Um, so let's try this static stinger out. Oh, Ooh, it's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Oh, look at these guys. Yes. Okay, this is, this is good. Okay, okay. So, you know what? Let's try this out. I've got 90 of these bad boys, and I'm going backwards. So, we've only got a minute. How did we do last time? 91? To be honest with you, it's probably better just to run around. Maybe I'll try that next time. I'm just experimenting, really. I'm seeing which way is the best way of doing it. There's loads and loads of these guys, uh, which is awesome. They're so speedy. Such speed. Oh, look at this. Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> okay, so how many how many did we get? 91 last time? I don't think we're gonna get 91 this time. I think we're running out of time, but let's see what we can do. Okay, here we go. Got 58. Um hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's best. Like, it's just a case of it doesn't really matter, to be honest, because you know, if you if you if you mess it up, you can just go and do it again. So not too much of a big deal. I'll tell you what, let's go up this way, see if we can get some extra time. We've got 10 seconds left. Oh. Let's fill that up. Oh, look, we got 10 seconds. Okay, good. Whoop. Let's go up here. Whoop. 25 seconds. Yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't think we're going to get over 90 this time. Maybe that was just like a freak run or something. Oh, actually. Hmm. I can just keep filling up that time. We should be okay. Um, oh, jeez. There's no, there's no more There's no more thingies. Like, oh, 25 seconds. I need those green things. Okay, you know what? Doesn't matter. We're going to spin around. So come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We have to be super quick here. I need loads of plot. 17 seconds. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They kind of come in groups, I think. Like, sometimes it's smaller groups, sometimes it's bigger groups. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, go, go, go. How long we got? Two seconds? One second? Ah, oh, okay. We didn't do as well that time. Oh, we got 78. Okay. Well, oh, no. 79. It's still not awful. It's better than the 30 that we got the first time around, but. Still nothing amazing, is it? I was hoping to get over 100, so the technique really didn't work that time. Uh, it's not too bad. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to do the other one, and then I think we probably need to do one more, so we'll see. All right, check this out. I'm rolling with this uh, tactic once again, where we just, like, try and block off the entire track with um, these three of these slowers. <laughs> it works really nicely, I think. Um, so I've just been messing about with it. Obviously, like, we're not going to have much time in this one, but... Uh, I just thought I'd give it a go. It took me ages to get this power up. Like, but there we go. Look at that. <laughs> so it works. Like, if you do block the entire track off, you do pick up lots and lots of them. Unfortunately, I got that one right at the end of the run. Um, so there wasn't too much I could do with it. I got, like, three of the static clingers in a row. And then finally, I got the slowy one right at the end. So I don't think we're going to just miss out on the 450 this time. But 
It's all good. We can wait again. So how many do we need? We don't need many. We need 50 more. So I'm going to have to go and wait now again. Um, how long do I have to wait? Six minutes. All right, well, I guess I'll wait six minutes then. Okie dokies, here we go. So I think this is it. We only need 50 and we've got a lot more. Uh, I managed to do the, uh, the the slowy time thing again, just like across the whole track. Uh, seemed to work pretty well. And all right, so not quite as good as our first run. That seems to just be quite a lucky one, but 78 plots. I will take it. I will take it. And here we go with the first reward. Oh my goodness, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Here we go. 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 Up. Woo! There we have it. Here she is. Okay. <clears throat> what the? You collected how many? Well then, I suppose the deluxe coop is now available to you. I would say good luck managing all those chickens, but honestly, you seem to know how to handle yourself. Yeah, that was a bit of a weird accent, isn't it? All right. You know, sometimes I feel like this whole planet is coop just depend to keep people far away. Sometimes I feel like my dad didn't send me out for a special assignment at all. I think Moki has got some kind of family jam which is going on about here, you know, with her father and stuff. Anyway. I'm sure she'll tell us more about that at some point. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like I was sent out of here to stay out of his way. <laughs> I'm just in the chicken coop. Oh, maybe she isn't such a sassy lady. Maybe she's just sassy as like an armor, you know, as like a defense mechanism. Maybe she's actually quite friendly. I don't know. Speaking of chickens, what's this bird brain like you hanging around when there's so much work to do? Uh, all right, she's back to her usual self. <laughs> Let's get back to the task in hand. Get me another batch of quicksilver plots and I'll give you a very special reward, access to this manor and its plots. Oh, okay. My mana would be uh, the one ranch expansion that uh, that isn't as embarrassing. What? That you have that isn't embarrassing. Wouldn't that be nice? How dare you? My ranch is lovely. Wait, so is that it? Just two... Oh, is that, oh, is that the final one already? I mean, it's 700 plot. So obviously that's, you know, a fair amount of runs. But as soon as we unlock that, we'll actually have access to her mana. No way, because that was the top tier one for Ogden, wasn't it? Huh. Okay, cool. Um, So, I mean, we are... We now have this deluxe chicken coop, so should we build it? I mean, we might as well. Um, So I'll tell you what I'll do. I don't really, like, use the chicken coops that often, but... I don't think we've really got anywhere that's spare right now. I suppose we could just get rid of one of these. So I'll tell you what, let's get rid of this one at the top. Um, So let's... Uh, let's, let's change this. Let's demolish this. Uh, and let's put a coop here. Purchase. Okay. Oh, look at this. Aha, so here's the deluxe upgrade. So, um, I mean, let's just have fun with it. Oh, look at this spring. What is all this stuff? This wasn't here last time. Spring grass. Uh, spring grass attracts scuttle bugs that chickens just love to eat. With their bellies full, hens will produce twice as fast. No way. <laughs> A vitamizer. The latest and advanced poultry tech. The vitamizer bathes chickens in vita rays, allowing them to grow into healthy hens and roost rows twice as fast. So, this is what the coop looks like right now, I guess. I'm not too sure. Oh, look at the bugs. When did they add that in? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, and then the final upgrade is the deluxe upgrade. So, this is a special upgrade designed by the Moki Miles that doubles the number of chickens you can keep and moves elders out. Ah... Purchase. <laughs> There's a chicken TV in here. <laughs> no way. Are you kidding? Wasn't that cool? Look at that. So they've put a chicken TV in here? Oh my goodness me. Hang on. Let me grab some chickens. Can the chickens sit down and watch TV? Watch TV! Do you, Are you watching? That's amazing. Okay, so they actually... <laughs> There's a TV inside here. All right, okay. So I guess like they now with this like whole setup, they oh, I need a rooster in here, obviously. Otherwise, they're not going to multiply. So I'm gonna grab one of you and stick one of you in there. Um, so yeah, obviously now they they breed twice as fast. They eat these little bugs. They kick the elders out when they're too old, and then I guess more roosters will come if they're the eggs, of course, if they hatch. Huh. Well, there we go. There's the advanced chicken coop upgrade. The chicken coop isn't really an item that we particularly use. I just prefer it like this. Like, it works so well. Just the whole thing is basically a massive coop. Um, but yeah, check that out. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think, unfortunately, that is going to be about it for today's episode here in Slime Rancher. But we'll be back very soon. Um, we have 700 <laughs> more of the Quicksilvers still to go. And then we'll gain access to Moki's own ranch, which is super exciting. 
Uh, well, yeah, thank you very much for watching. So if you did enjoy this, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Slime Rancher done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rantio!